Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Akusi Albehene. If you're new, you're welcome. If you're a tennis subscriber, thank you so much for always coming back. I love you. You should know that by now. Like, I love you. I appreciate you. I appreciate you for always coming back. Now, in today's video, I'm going to be doing a full face matte makeup for combination to oily skin precisely my skin type i decided that um i'll do this with you guys share tutorial very beginner friendly you know step by step everything explained products explained steps explained you know like i took my time you know just to break it down and just to create this entire look with you guys um so i'd love for you to watch it i'd love for you to interact comment down in the comment section below if you have anything that you want to ask me i will be there right now to reply um also give this video a huge thumbs up if you like it subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done that turn on the bell button so you don't miss an upload and then without further ado let's get into the video i'm gonna first start with primers because of my skin type I naturally gravitate towards primers that are a lot more mattifying um, but not so mattifying you know I like to stay in between so maybe a soft matte I really don't like like dry 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 because like I said the appearances of my face are dry anyways so I like to have a balance of both the primer that I would say that I love the most it's not drugstore but I would say that I really really love this primer it's the perfect soft matte primer for combination skin for a skin type i mean it's still in market so you can definitely buy it's the fenty beauty the fenty beauty pro filter primer soft matte precisely i love this primer like i said i love this primer because it's soft matte and it gives you just the perfect base that you want like it's the perfect kind of primer but if you're looking for a drugstore option then i'd say that um you can definitely grab the elf or less potty primer this stuff is not so drying for me in my opinion it's not so drying i love this stuff for like for like a quick day like <laughs> for days when i don't see this on hand and i need a primer that i can reach if i don't reach for this i'll reach for this you know but today i'm going to use a fenty beauty pro filter primer because i absolutely like i said i absolutely love how she be working on my skin so <laughs> i like it so i just keep it in this areas of my face basically this is exactly what i do and then i use my finger to just rub it in focusing on the areas where i have large pores because i have large pores right in the center part of my face right right around my nose area and then a little bit on my nose to my forehead but in these areas are the areas where they are like really really open and large pores the areas where i'm like i first put the primer so that's like my the most place that I concentrate on when I'm doing my makeup. So um, the thing with primers is you want to buy a primer and then use a primer for its purpose. So if a primer says poreless, it means that it's going to work on your pores. It's not going to do anything else again. So if you're buying a primer that has a blurring effect is also going to give you that blur it might not be mattifying it might not be hydrating but it will still give you that whole blurry effect you know so every primer has what it does so you need to know your skin type and your skin concerns before you go out there to buy a primer so, so you guys see what I'm talking about you do see that it is kind of mattifying but it's not drying you know like you see that these areas of my face don't have the oils again but then they don't look as dry they still i don't even feel like my skin is tightened up you know so that's why i like this primer and same applies to this one as well it doesn't give me that whole really mattifying feeling you know i don't like that at all so um yeah like i was saying when it comes to primers you always have to buy them for their purpose um, next will be to set my face so um set my face or set my primer before i go in to do my foundation i know you guys have, might have seen these steps or this step on a few other youtube channels but really it's something that helps it's something that works reason why we do it is because it helps you to hold your makeup it helps to hold your makeup for a long day like a good amount of like your day activities your makeup will still be in place so i'm just going to use a beauty blender and a translucent powder the translucent powder that i'm going to use is the espon espon loose face powder i've had this stuff for such a long time i love how it works but 
because you're just setting your primer you're not doing too much so you're just going to take like very little amount of product you know take off the excess because you don't want to you don't want it to affect your foundation coverage in any way you're just trying to get a more by matte base you know so um i'm just going to go over my pores again so throughout the video you guys will see that um if i'm trying to get a matte base it will be like my main focus will be like the most oiliest areas that i have on my face that's the main part of my face that i'll be focusing on making very matte because that's the part of my face that um my makeup is probably not going to last long <laughs> so yeah you know and i see i know that if you use a powder that has some color to it it's definitely going to mess up with your foundation shade so always make sure that you're using a plain translucent powder something that you know that you use that has no color to it whatsoever that won't mess you up in any way now for foundation foundation and primers really do go hand in hand whatever primer you use will determine or sort of has or has to determine what kind of um wait whatever primer you use has to determine what kind of foundation you're using and basically whatever look you're going for has to determine what kind of products you're going to choose so um i have a matte base there's no way i'm going to use a hydrating foundation even though i'll do that sometimes when i'm not on camera a few foundations that i can recommend the one that i'm currently loving or the one that has always been like my love will be the nyx can't stop won't stop hands down the best matte foundation that i've ever tried from drugstore it's so good perfect shade for my skin type this precisely is in the shade warm walnut if you use me as a skin reference or if you use me as a reference then this shade should match you as well it matches my neck matches my face everything you know before or like my neck is actually kind of darker than my face but this foundation does a good job with like making it all okay so this if you're looking for an option and then another option that i'll show you is the l'oreal infallible pro matte it's, this is not the pro matte they don't say the matte but they say that it's up to 24 hour wear so then you should know and i've had it on before and i know how it gets you like perfect coverage doesn't move this foundation is <sighs> this foundation is just too good to be true i recently just started using it this is probably like my third time using it so it's like I, it's just too good it's really good so i'm going to be using this today so that you guys see another one that i like is um maybelline hands down hands down the queen this is what i started doing my makeup with i've always loved maybelline i still love maybelline like maybelline is my girl i have i have hair in like different types like i love maybelline like i will buy maybelline in every kind of bottle that comes out like this foundation is so good it's just like really lightweight it it, it is very very lightweight very so 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 lightweight but it gives you such a good coverage like such a perfect coverage see this foundation is so lightweight you see it's literally very liquidy you see how much um you do see that I mean when you start the application you feel like ah what is she going to cover <laughs> that's how i felt about her when i started using her but then i realized that she was actually very good my makeup held on the whole day oh i just kept giving myself so many comments and then saying that oh my god <laughs> i'm gonna use this foundation i'm going to tell the world about this foundation like every time that i put this foundation on i feel like Shouldn't I go with like two more pops? And cause what is like I can't I can't feel it. Like I can't I can't feel no foundation. You know like foundation where foundation who foundation done obviously. Next will be my concealer. Once you like I said once you start with um, matte primer matte foundation, you don't want to make go in with anything else. You want to make sure that you're maintaining that whole thing till you go along so for concealers as well you want to make sure that you're using a concealer that has like a matte base or has like a long wearability so my favorite drugstore found concealer in all honesty 
back to back to back to back favorite <laughs> will be my elf 16 hour camo concealer i love i just love these 16 hour camo concealers they're just the absolute best one thing about these concealers that um the downside i'd say is that they dry down fast so you want to work around them really fast the best way that i would use this is you know usually you put your concealer in all of the areas of your face and then blend keep like blend and be moving but before you finish blending here your forehead is dried or your cheeks will be dried so you don't want to put it all over your face you want to do it step by step so i'm probably going to use this and show you guys how i work with it another option would be the l'oreal infallible full wear concealer this is more than a concealer they say i probably might just use this one too <laughs> i'm going to use the elf concealer paired with the l'oreal foundation just so we see how they work together because i don't think that i've done a combo of both i just always use the l'oreal with the l'oreal foundation and then elf with my other foundations and it does an amazing job with all of my other foundations so today we're going to try here with the l'oreal infallible um infallible um foundation that we put on this is elf if you use me as a shade reference another thing about my concealer that you should know is that i like for my under eyes or my concealers of my concealed areas to look brighter than usual so i would i go heavy on my concealers you know like i make sure that they're like it, it, usually they say that your concealer should be like one step lighter than your skin i probably go three steps lighter than my skin you know and sometimes i even go in to add like something that's even more lighter in the inner corners of my eye just to get that extra brightness just because that's what i like um but depending on your skin color and everything depending on how much makeup you like depending on what occasion you're going for and what look you're going for you don't need too much concealer but this shade also works really nice for giving you like a really nice under eye like really bright under eye not very bright i'll put it on you guys to see eventually um but i just want to put the shade out there it's deep cinnamon if you use me as a, as a shade reference so i'm just gonna use that same dufo applicator and then go under my eye i always start with my under eye and then do my other eye and then i'm gonna stop and then blend and then after blending i'm gonna go in and do the other areas of my face that needs to be done so like i said these concealers dry down really quick so i want to make sure that you're working around them extra quicker i'm going to use um i'm going to go ahead and use this brush it's a soft accent brush also from real techniques it's nice for blending your concealer and yada yada you, you want to make sure that you're pushing your nose to the side because <laughs> you don't want to you don't want to have your concealer sitting on one side and looking very funny it's very good has full coverage i love the fact that it gives you perfect full coverage it doesn't move once it's dry or once it's there and like it picks the the shape of what it wants to pick that's it she's not going anywhere <laughs> till you tell her to i'm gonna go ahead and use the same foundation brush that i used to blend the like the edges of the concealer just so that i don't have any sharp lines you know and also just so that it blends into the foundation a lot more makeup is all about blending <laughs> we say it every time but makeup is really all about blending there are parts of your face that you need to be heavy-handed and there are parts of your face where you need to go really light so this is eventually how bright you're gonna get that concealer looking i mean this is how bright it's gonna look if i was going for a nighttime look you know honestly i'd have added a little more of a lighter concealer in the inner corners of my eye but since it's still daytime and you don't want to do anything overboard this is absolutely fine next i'm going to go in and contour still using the same 16 hour camo concealer but this is in the shade deep ebony if you also do use me as a shade reference i think this contour should work for you as well i just don't like for my contour to look harsh or darker i like for it to be like bronzed like bronzy look kind of contour you know so this is perfect i recently just realized that this is a perfect 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 
high con uh, what's it called contour shade for me to use so i just use my brush pick some of the product or you can just apply and because this stuff dries up down quick you want to work your way around it quick i'm gonna work around it so i'm just distributing them in the area so i'll usually put my contour the perimeters of my face like so and then my contour area my cheekbones it doesn't give you like really really dark contour vibes but that's exactly what i want to achieve because <laughs> i don't want for my contour to like overshadow my concealer in any way you know i like for i do like for the areas to do, like look kind of dark but I, I don't care for it to look like so dark it's not it's like it's not in my business for it to look so dark now i'm gonna go ahead and set my concealer but because I don't want any creasing whatsoever, especially under my eye, I'm going to make sure that it's well blended under my eye. Next, I'm going to go in and set the concealer with my powder again, as Fawn Loose Face Powder. So I'm going to take a brush and then dip it into my translucent powder. Be very light-handed with this step. And you just want to press it into your skin. So I'm just going to press it under my eye. Make sure that you're just evenly distributing the product in the area where you've highlighted. So see, and then see, still kind of glowy. Everything about this step is how to work around your combination skin and make your makeup last longer. So, so you're like, you're just setting it, making sure that you're getting it to like set the concealer in place and then have it last so baking is what I use to do my nose contour. I just do this. And then I do this. Makeup will have you looking any kind of way till you're done with the process. So that's why they say trust the process every time. It really is like trust the process. So yeah, and then a little bit of what's left of the powder for like my reverse contour okay so my brows are done now i always like how my brows turn out every time um right now what i'm gonna do is brush off the excess powder that i have on like i said i'm not going to do any eye look it's just this what i have on right now because i wanted this whole thing to really be about the um, what's it called to be about my base and how to achieve the perfect base so you just brush off the excess powder don't worry we look white but it's all gonna make sense now the next thing that I'm gonna do is set my entire face with a with my powder the Maybelline fit me matte plus poreless powder I love this powder she does a good job at like holding everything in place and then just blending everything together and the brush that i'm using is also from evita this is evita joseph's all over powder brush yeah so i'm just setting my face you see you still do see the contour so that's what a little reverse contour will do to your very light contour you see the product wasn't like over the top but because of the reverse contour we can still definitely see that i have some contour going on so that's a good thing and then next i'm gonna go in with my favorito my br my blush i was gonna say brush this is the nika k duo blush whichever blush you want to use but i'd say that for our skin type not skin type precisely no for our skin color for this skin color the kind of blush that pops up a lot more is a lot more on the orange side you know i say this a lot i don't like how this looks on our skin tone so we hardly ever use anything like this so it has to be orange or it has to be a lot more on the mauve side like i'd say something like this you know mac has i think the mac mac peach luster blush i think something around that but mac has a blush that's very nice this as well so you see a shade like this or an orange shade is what's going to pop up on your skin the brush that I'm using is from Sonia Kashuk. This is their small point blush brush. 
it's really the bestie it just makes sense to use this brush it makes absolute sense now i'm gonna go in with my highlighter for highlighter i'm gonna use the Too Faced and then i'm just going to place it on top i'm not used to using a small brush for my highlighter but my concept is with makeup you got to make everything work for you and then i'm just going to take my powder brush once again and then just press everything in sort of blend everything out so now i'm going to set my face if you're looking for a good setting spray to use for your skin type or our skin type combination of oily skin you need a setting spray that can help your makeup last longer then i'd say that try the maybelline lasting fix this stuff is amazing so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and put on my lashes you know do my lips all of that stuff the good stuff and then i'll come back then show you guys the finished look oh my god oh my god okay <laughs> okay guys so i finished putting everything together now the last thing that i'm gonna do is set my face one last time um just so that you know everything is okay and synchronized okay okay guys so finally finally we have been able to come to the end of this entire look I'm sorry that I didn't show you the lip. You know what? Let me just show you what kind of products that I use. This is the e.l.f. Let me. Um, this e.l.f. is their seriously satin lipstick. So they released this set this year. It came with so many shades, but the aesthetics is just so pleasing. Look at this. Like, isn't she lovely? And this color tell me what oh brown is just chocolate is just oh chocolate is just like mm. and then my obvious fave this is my favorite matte lipstick matte nude lipstick precisely is the l'oreal infallible pro matte liquid lipstick this is in the shade nudist um this stuff is amazing amaze 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 balls so basically what i have is this as a liner that's what i used this for i've never thought of it as a liner before and i used this as i used this as my liner and then i'm like oh why didn't you even think about it before like how didn't i think about that before and then i put this in the center and then that was it literally that was it i like how everything is matte and like really nice so um i'm gonna leave um a link to I want to say I'm going to leave a link to every product in the description box below, but I'm going to leave a link to my Amazon storefront down below because on my Amazon storefront, you can buy, you can find everything. I put all my favorite makeup products on my Amazon storefront. If you didn't know, I do have an Amazon storefront uh, as like an Amazon influencer. Um, so I, so you can buy products and then I get a commission off of that. I hope you guys understand that. <laughs> so I'm going to have a link or links in my description box below in case you're interested, particularly maybe the lipstick because, oh, this combo is it for me. Okay. It's it for me. So yeah, this is the final look. It is really beautiful. Comment down below how you feel about the look. Comment down below if um, this is a look that you're going to try to wear. If you're going to incorporate any of the steps that I shared with you guys, also do share that with me. I'd love to know that. Also, I'd love for you guys to tell me in the comment section below if you have any tutorials that you want me to do, anything that you want me to work on, anything that you want me to do a video on, a tutorial on, precisely makeup, skincare. I would love to do that. Give me a huge thumbs up if you like it. I love you guys for always being here. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done that. Follow me on all my social media platforms akusia behine across all platforms i love you i'll see you guys in my next video Mwah. bye